So hi, welcome, Bridget here at the Hot Stove Society, and I've got Christy from Culinary Collective with me, and we're gonna learn about tapas with the best 10 fish. We do a lot of tapas classes here at the Hot Stove. We start out our fun paella classes with a little bit of tapas from Culinary Collective. It's so delicious, so why is it so delicious? So, so um, we import products from Spain, and one of the more traditional products from Spain are, is tin seafood. And so our Matisse brand, uh, we have a whole range of tin seafood. Um, octopus, which is a little unusual for some people. Uh, mussels, and also a full uh, line of, of sardines in olive oil with salt, mm. spicy sardines, lemon sardines, and smoked sardines. Oh, I didn't know about Matisse. the lemon sardines. Yes. Yum. Yes. Uh, so, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, Matisse seafood, or tin, tin seafood in general from Spain. This is a trend that I'm seeing quite a bit of, that um, people are serving this right from the tin to the table. So tin to table, appetizers or tapas. So good, yeah. Yeah, and we'll also learn a little bit today about how to top these so you get a nice, beautiful presentation and you have accompaniments that really bring out the natural, fresh flavors of the fish. So uh, to start off, <clears throat> your um, display should really just be kept kind of simple. Now you can add these tins of seafood to a charcuterie board, uh, to a cheese board, uh, because it's a it's a kind of a nice to kind of, you know, pair a little bit of almonds or olives along with a bite of the Yum. seafood. Right. Uh, so we'll start here with uh, the uh, sardines. These are spicy sardines in olive oil. Now, a lot of you might think Can I of, look? Yeah. Sardines These as are being beautiful. like look. We grew up with sardines. It wasn't such a, you know, fancy food. Look at that. Those are beautiful. But these are whole fillets cooked at lower temperature. Wow. That's and awesome. And hand packed. Yeah, hand packed in olive oil and we put a chili pepper or a couple chilies in every tin so the chili naturally infuses the oil which infuses the fish. These are flaky beautiful whole fillets, bone in, skin on and they are phenomenal. Cool. So, uh, so today, we'll, we're just gonna do a couple of really simple um, accompaniments. When you put these out on a tray, uh, you wanna keep the flavor simple and the combination simple. So this is one that I really like. Uh, this is a combination of olives, oranges, parsley, and hard boiled egg. Yum. And this is all together here. And if you want to add just a tiny little drizzle to kind of uh, blend the flavors, this Castillo de Canena uh, family reserve of olive oil, we import this from Spain, mm. it is wonderful. Yeah. So just a little drizzle is all you need. And then nice. we're gonna just gonna very lightly toss it so it doesn't, so those egg yolks kind of preserve their shape. And then you can just take a little bit and place it right on top of the tin of fish. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I was thinking like, take some, put it on a plate. You can no. do that too. Oh, but if awesome. You, if you have just a couple of guests and maybe not a whole huge crowd, it's nice um, to do it this way. And so each person can kind of serve up a, a bite of that, a bite of the accompaniment, and it's wonderful together. Yum. Also with uh, sardines, I love sour cream or creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. I'll do a little bit of parsley uh, and then top each fish filet with a dollop of the sour cream and a little bit of the parsley. So we'll take out this filet right here and put it on a plate. Ooh, Ooh. It's so tender, it fell right apart on They're me. They're so good, I'm gonna sneak this piece right here. <laughs> mm. is allowed during filming. Yeah, um, so good. So put a little dollop of sour cream on top and you can top it with just a little sprig or some chopped parsley. Wow. And what this oh does my goodness. is it mellows the flavor. It's you spicy. Try. Okay, oops, just lost a fork there. So you just spread it and go. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And this, the spice and the cream together, mm. just wonderful. Delicious. Yeah. My husband would love this. Uh, the next one will be uh, Matisse mussels. So these Ooh. are mussels in marinade. So it's like um, what we call an escabeche with spices, oh. olive oil, and vinegar. Yum. So this you can do with just a just little bit of sour cream if out. you like to kind of mellow the flavor. Um, so traditionally in Spain, um, the Spaniards will go around at the dinner hour and they will order a glass of wine. And in some parts of Spain, automatically with every drink or glass of wine, they will serve you a little plate of food. 
And uh, back in the old days, they would put the plate of food on top of the glass to, to uh, tapar it, to top it off and cover the glass. And so that's why the tapa or the top or the um, cap of the glass is called nice. a tapa. So in some parts of Spain, it's automatic. You don't even have to order them, and they're free, too. But it's become such a popular tradition that now um, Spaniards will go around from bar to bar to bar all night long, ordering a glass of wine, eating little nibbles of different types, tin oh, so food, delicious! Uh, different little salads, and it will just be a light dinner, very Mediterranean. With a little salad? Perfect. Yes. Yeah. So where do we find these? Uh, we find these um, at various online retailers. Um, here in Seattle, there's quite a few great places that carry our, our um, tin seafood. But online, you can go to Amazon. Um, something like the octopus, which is um, pretty unique, mm -hmm. uh, is mostly found online. You can go to that. uh, Amazon or thespanishtable.com. Mm. And I sell out a few of these, some cheeses, some crusty bread, a few olives from Spain, and a few um, wedges of lemon to kind of spritz on top, and you have You're a very business. light dinner. So nice, and yeah. so good for you. Absolutely. That's fabulous. Oh, and one other serving idea. Oh, is, uh, I know, look. This is fun. So when you have a crowd of people and they look at the tin and they say, okay, what is it? What is that? Uh, you can cut off the top of the box, and you can slide the top. Just like with cheeses, right? Yeah. I do this with my... Right underneath the tin. And our tins are so bright and so colorful, beautiful artwork. They look really nice underneath that tin, peeking out there so people can kind of slide it and see. That's awesome. So, yeah. so thank you, Chrissy. This is such a great education. I love this. And yeah. It's so delicious. I think I'm going to do this tonight because it's warm here. We're going to have a little salad and <laughs> some meal. tapa. So thank you so much. Bridget here at the Hot Stove Society, and we have Chrissy from Culinary Collective teaching us more and more. Thank you so much for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming. Cheers.